October 21st, 2016. The MGPI processing facility in Atchison, Kansas. An unintended chemical reaction resulted in a dense cloud containing toxic chlorine gas and other chemicals that drifted into the community, leaving over 140 people with reported injuries. The incident occurred during a routine chemical delivery when two incompatible chemicals, sulfuric acid and sodium hypochlorite, were inadvertently mixed, forming the toxic cloud. Delivery and unloading operations may be perceived as simple compared to other processes at chemical facilities. But because these activities can involve large quantities of chemicals, the consequences of an incident can be severe. Our case study on the MGPI incident stresses that facilities must pay careful attention to the design and operation of chemical transfer equipment to prevent similar incidents. The MGPI facility produces distilled spirits, specialty wheat proteins, and starches. The incident occurred in a section of the plant that uses sodium hypochlorite, or bleach, as well as sulfuric acid. These two chemicals, when combined, can form chlorine gas and other chemical compounds. On the morning of the incident, a truck from a chemical distribution company, Harcross Chemicals, arrived at MGPI to complete a routine delivery of sulfuric acid. After reviewing paperwork in the control room, an MGPI facility operator escorted the driver to a locked loading area. There, chemicals are transferred from trucks into the facility through piping, called fill lines, to several large storage tanks in an outdoor tank farm. The MGPI operator unlocked the sulfuric acid fill line for the driver to connect the truck's unloading hose. The operator remembers pointing out the correct fill line to the driver before he returned to his workstation. The driver, however, does not recall hearing the operator identify the fill line. Unknown to the operator, the sodium hypochlorite fill line was also unlocked, and the two lines, which were only 18 inches apart, looked similar and were not clearly marked. The driver connected his truck's sulfuric acid hose to the sodium hypochlorite line, and sulfuric acid began flowing inside. He then returned to the cab of his truck. Shortly before 8 a.m., a greenish-yellow gas began flowing from the bulk tank of sodium hypochlorite. The driver noticed the cloud in his truck's side-view mirror and attempted to return to the connection area to turn off the flow of sulfuric acid but the gas overwhelmed him. He then ran to the passenger side of the truck to close a valve that could halt the flow, but he was prevented from doing so by the gas. Instead, he ran away from the cloud and escaped to a separate area of the facility. At about the same time, toxic gases entered the facility control room through the building's ventilation system. MGPI operators preparing for shift change in the control room were immediately overcome by the toxic gas. Because the operators had a practice of locking respirators between shifts, some were unable to access their respirators before evacuating the building. With no other way to stop the flow, other than closing manual valves on the fill line or truck, or by triggering one of the truck's emergency shutoffs, the sulfuric acid continued to enter the sodium hypochlorite tank for nearly 45 minutes until emergency responders shut down the flow. Approximately 4,000 gallons of sulfuric acid combined with 5,800 gallons of sodium hypochlorite, causing a large, dense cloud containing chlorine gas, which soon drifted off-site. MGPI employees were evacuated from the site, and 11,000 Atchison citizens were advised to either shelter in place or evacuate. Over 140 people, including MGPI employees, emergency responders, the truck driver, and members of the public, sought medical attention, some requiring hospitalization.